What's going on everybody? So today I got to take Salty out to the track and get it certed. Uh, they usually do an annual track cert, like a chassis cert at the track on the first track day. So it's actually tr first track day. It's only like 30 some degrees and I haven't done the oil change and all that stuff. And it's gonna be pretty cold. So I'm not too worried about running it today. I just didn't want to get out there on the first car uh, registered this morning to get the chassis certed. So it's been three years since I've gotten the chassis certed in Salty. So I need to get it done uh, for this year. So I'm um, gonna go ahead and head out there and hopefully it's a little chilly that the ethanol fires up here today. So we'll take you along with us and see what the chassis guy has to say about certain the car. So usually if you cycle the key a few times with this car and the ethanol, it helps it uh, start up in cold. So let the fuel pump prime once. Twice, might give it a third time just for good luck. Uh, cause sometimes this car will fight me in the cold. So if you let it load up with a little extra fuel from the prime, which I could go in and adjust some of that stuff, but it does have a little extra fuel with the, uh, coolant temp, but you can hear it's kind of cold. It's not, not loving life this morning. There it goes. It's starting to get close there. Maybe. Hey, all right. <laughs> So I'll go ahead and get the car warmed up here and head to the track. Oh yeah, getting warmed up. So uh, struggling a little bit this morning, but not too bad, not too bad. Let's go ahead and get the uh, car backed out here in a second and head over to the track. All right, got Salty all backed out. Everything seems pretty good. Going to uh, end up doing an oil change and cleaning the fuel injectors before the race season, but uh, always think it's a good idea to go drive it around like it is so if there's any gunk in the fuel lines throughout the car it'll push it kind of into the injectors and then they'll get cleaned anyway so without cleaning them then pushing a bunch of crap into it so uh, take it out and drive it around it's not a bad day to uh, take the car for a little cruise here to the track I'm gonna get the car ready I got to pull the carpet back and uh, show like where the roll cage mounts to the chassis uh, so they can check to make sure the plates are all welded and then they'll check thicknesses and all that I believe on a research I'm not sure how in-depth they go compared to like an initial cert on the car but uh, that's what we're gonna do and then hopefully we can get asserted and uh, be ready for the next three years all right guys so we got the chassis all asserted he comes in and if you can kind of see there's a little wet spot there he checks the thicknesses of all of the tubes and then also checks to make sure that the plates are welded all the way around they're there up in the front corner here make sure that those are all welded there uh and then checks thickness on the bars here and here just to verify and then once you are all verified and good to go they put a new sticker on right here that is good for three years cost about 170 dollars to get the chassis inserted and be legal for three years so now we're good to go, hop back in the car, uh, and then we actually got to go help my dad load up a couple of his cars, so then we can bring those out and get those sorted yet today. All right, so we got the car sorted, headed back to help my dad load up. Uh, this old yellow car to get it sorted, he sold it, so it's going to a new owner, so get it sorted before that done, happens, and then um, in the Buick, we're going to drive it out and get the Buick sorted yet today. So uh, just a bunch of getting everything ready for the season here. All right, guys, so we're going to get the old yellow car loaded up to get it sorted as well as the Buick. We're just going to go ahead and drive the Buick out. But the yellow car is not much of a street car, so uh, it's going to get loaded up on the trailer. And then we'll take it on that. So we've got the trailer ready. I'm going to get it put on there. And we'll get both cars taken out and get both certs done on those cars. So fun fact with the old yellow car with this combination, how it sits, uh, my dad used to run it at PSCA Outlaw 10.5 racing, like Las Vegas, Arizona, California, stuff like that. The car like this has been 740s, I believe on two kits. Um, a couple years ago, we took it out and before I was doing videos and all that and ran this car in some no prep eighth mile stuff. 
And that's actually the car that I have ran the fastest pass I've ever been in on this, is uh, like 5.30 at 1.30 something in the eighth mile. All right, so she came out to the uh, Boost and Brews again here this week and just stopped by real quick and uh, brought the car out, even though it's dirty from driving through all the muddle, mud puddles and everything else out here, going to the track to get the car inserted, but uh, decent turnout again. It's a pretty cool deal that they uh, got going on. Keep trying to support the local car stuff so it continues to grow. So, a bunch of Mustangs, a couple Chargers, a little couple imports and everything. So, cool little turnout here, vet. So, gonna walk around here for a minute and get out of here. A little Motion Auto TV uh, boosted Civic action. Do a burnout! I'm just kidding. <laughs> a little boosted action. <laughs> Still spinning? <laughs> no, no, lost it boost. Spins for a really <laughs> Trevor uh, painted the car himself too. Came out good, man. Looks cool. It's a neat color. Yeah, there's some things that make me mad. That Barney turbo makes it makes it pop. Yeah. So we got the Buick out. Got the old Camaro up on the trailer. Got to go put some pump gas in the Buick. Uh, it's on pump gas right now, so that's one thing that's nice about how the car's set up is that you can put race gas in it, race it, and put pump gas in it, and drive it, and on pretty much the exact same tune. <laughs> this will be the first time that we're really driving around on just on 91, like regular octane gas, but that's kind of the whole plan with the car. So then we really can leave the same tune up in it, and just put C16 in to race, and put pump gas in to cruise around on. So we got all the cars started. Now we're gonna watch Jared make a couple passes here, uh, see what other cars are around, and then call it a day but uh, the track is open people are making passes so that means race season's here finally It off early, it went 961-112. See how Trevor does in his Civic. That is it for this video. I appreciate everybody for watching. We'll see you guys next time.